Hi everyone, welcome to Boxing Blocks and guys and please if you're new to the channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. So anytime I drop a new banker, a new exclusivity, you will definitely be notified. The Unified Everywhere King of the Universe and to the Joshua and also the only two time Unified Everywhere Ruler in the whole wide world. Some days ago, you know, posted a very important message on his Snapchat story. I wasn't available at that time because I traveled, you know what I mean? So couldn't really uh, keep up with what's going on in the boxing world and all that. Now he said, I quote, looking at this right here, you can see what he said. And I quote, dear children, you can give your mother and father a befitting funeral if you didn't give them a befitting life when you were alive. They can't see your love after they've gone or see you through your true affection from the coffin. Give your mother or father a hug or call and express your gratitude today. If you don't have the best relationship with your mother or father, this message isn't meant for you. Joshua basically indirectly telling nigerians to stop valuing their parents what their life more than when they are when they are gone because let me tell you one thing bro before you come in nigerians love barrier okay there's this thing in us i mean no i'm not i'm not saying all nigerians but from the south side you know what i mean when someone died you see people hitting and door and stuff like that and there, is, there used to be one guy in my area at the time, in the area I grew up, one hood man like that. When he was alive, none of the kids went to visit him. People had some negative stuff to say about him. I don't know what happened with the family and all that. But I think the mother of the kids kind of kept the kids away from the dad. You know what I mean? For some reason, I don't, I don't know. Because maybe the dad, according to what I heard, the dad threw the mother had the through through the mother out of the mother out of the house you know and uh, took a new wife and yeah something happened and then, and then the the woman punished the man in a very typical way in, you know what I mean <clears throat> by not allowing the kids to see the man now after the man died he's in I mean Osted I mean, they did the funeral in a grand style where, you know, in a grand style where, where people, important people came, <clears throat> you see them crying. I was like, okay, when you, when you, when you, when your old man was alive, he was not even present. And all of a sudden you cry, like, is that not crocodile tears? Usually send the message to the people right now, Nigerians, listen. Value your parents, appreciate them why they are still alive. Because when they are gone, you know what I mean, you start showing appreciation and start missing them. Yeah, they, they, there's no way they can see it. Unfortunately, everybody goes, you know, including I myself speaking right now. One day I'm going to leave, I'm going to depart and join my ancestors. And uh, that's why it's always nice to keep a good legacy, especially with your kids and all that. To make sure that even though you are hated everywhere, once your keys love you, there is no love greater than that. Which is, of course, speaking nothing but fast. What's your take on this? Uh, your quick take on this before the before the brother Well, uh, I don't think you know he what his message said is uh, it's it's very he's very right, you know, because. You know, the quickest way to see who your real family is is to see uh, who pe whoever passes away in your uh, in, in one of your family members. You'll see who your real family is because they tend to be different. You know, some of your family members, and whether they come out and start fighting over this, fighting over that, you know, but. In the end, it's always it's it's a clear message to to the young ones. Don't wait now to uh, 
to 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 don't wait till your parents pass away for you to love them you know love them now and appreciate what they have done for you yeah you know, sometimes your parents might be a little hard on you but at the end of the day they do it to strengthen you make you stronger make you smarter that's what they want because remember they said to always listen to your parents because they have gone through what you're trying to do and this is them trying to help you out and in the end if you listen to them you might you most likely will come out victorious and that's just the way life is man you know my dad had told me so many things you know i didn't listen i ended up doing some things and i ended up paying for them and you have and guess what if i had listened to him i would have been all right but in the end i did you know so i paid for it but go i i i i appreciate him now you know uh i talk to him more and same goes for my mom and dad man my mom so that's just the way life is you have to listen to your parents that's what I'm you mean saying. you mean you you lost you, you lost your mom already or what no no i said i still, uh, I still yeah i still i still have both and thank god you know uh, but i was about you, to say but, that's crazy yeah. man yeah 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 you hold you like i said you you have to listen to them cuz they actually they have wisdom and they have wisdom from their grandparents and i and i and i believe you know their grandparents and their grandparents always pass down wisdom to them and they all they they are always have something smart to say and it's it's for you to to help you uh to help you when you're lost you know you have to listen to them they will always be there for you So yes, brother, you're definitely right, and I support that. You have to listen to your parents. I understand that some parents, I mean, some people are not in good terms with your parents. I can understand that because let's let's keep it real. Some Nigerian parents are very wicked because when you when you don't do what they expect you to do, or when they, when you don't do what they what what if they don't if they see that some of them if they see that. The uh, uh, neighbor's children is, of course, is selling and whatever is doing without knowing the origin of the money. You know that they tend to some, and I'm not saying all, but some tend to compare you. With, you know, say, look at your mate, look at what they, look at what they're doing. What are you doing with life? All this kind of stuff, but not knowing that everybody has their own, they have their own destiny and their own passion for things. At the same time, regardless of that. You guys have to respect your parents. If you don't have uh, a good relationship with your parents, then I guess, like Joshua said, this is not for you. Stay blessed, young, stable guys. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.